These are the three swarms that I caught out at the farm this past weekend and I brought home last night. Two of these are going in one box. I'm going to run a two queen system on them. One of them. This is a style box those swarms would be moved into. It's got a little dado here to accept a central divider, which it will have. Now, I set these up offset like this because when I set the box up, the white swarm will go into the right hand side and the blue swarm will go into the left hand side. So they'll be. Hi, this is Philip with RTX Honeybees. This is part two on my transferring uh, bees and putting them into uh, two queen colonies. These are Texas Deeps behind me. I'm going to put these into a single box. Thank you for coming along. Texas Deep Divider. When using extra deep frames, especially ones without any foundation, it's critical that they be level so that the bees will draw the comb straight up and down. Notice that I put a leveling bubble on the front of the box just above the handle. the queen right away. Over here. She's a beauty. Oh, there she is. Right there. I see her. So this is a deep frame. This was the bait frame. I don't have any Texas deep bait frames yet. I have to use a deep frame. It's a very small swarm. Just starting to draw that one out. These first three transfers are Pretty small swarms. They're not anything uh, that impressive, but if you'll hang in there until the 10 minute and 30 second mark, or skip ahead, whatever you want to do, you'll see what these Texas Deeps are all about.
quite a lot of bees still in here. Let's pop them up and let them walk in. Got it. Right there. job on this one as far as drawing out the comb. See if I can find the queen. Yep, there she is. Oh, it's so hard to see where that is. Huh? Where'd she go? There she is, right here. You see her? Sun now. There she goes, right there. <laughs> All right, let me go find the top for that. Make an inner cover with a divider in the middle, but I don't have any ready. And I also don't have any lids I'm finding out. But yeah. Here. They're really confused. They're trying to get in up at the top where they're used to it. Nothing there for them. They'll figure it out. Okay, I forgot to hit record, but I can go back to my video where I took these boxes out of my truck and put them here. There was a box over here and a box to the right. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to move the one that was on the entrance on the right-hand side to the right hand, and one on the left, which is behind it, to that side. The thing is, I put a divider in there. being on the side of the box. Okay, she's right under my finger. Can I see her? Right there. Like on the other one, I'm going to put that on front like that. Comb. 
Lisa Frank Road. <laughs> pivot you guys just a little bit so you can see better. some idea of what the Texas deep will do for you. If this swarm was caught on regular deeps, I'd be cutting off a lot of comb right now. Is that a... Make sure I don't... I'm so excited about that that I don't see the queen. I don't think she can be on there. She's nowhere for her to lay. Now that is what you call a slab of brood. Both sides. Wow. Think about that. These might make me some honey. Sure would like to see the queen. Oh, there she is, I found her. She's right. Oh, I lost her. Right here. Oh, not good. <laughs> Almost a disaster. All right, let's make sure the queen gets down in there. And I'm going to try to straighten that comb out a little bit. Go down in. There she goes. She went down in. Okay, so this was not level, I guess, on the swarm trap. So they built the comb going that way. So I'm going to try to straighten that up a little bit. Queen's off of there. So shake the bees off. And I'm just going to take it and press it into the string. Fair job to do, but hopefully that'll get them headed in the right direction. Okay. Now hopefully that'll fix that. Let me show you guys something real quick before I close this out. Obviously this created a lot of confusion. Uh, I'm hoping these bees from the boxes will walk their way in. There's an entrance here and an entrance there. Uh, quite a few on the side. But it looks like a lot of those that were coming back found their way to this little stack of nukes right here that I have. So they may gain some bees from it, who knows. But there's a lot of confusion right there. So. All right, that's pretty much the transfer. I'll have to come out here after they settle down and pick up all this spare equipment. Thank you guys for watching. It's Philip with RTX Honeybees.